Good afternoon. Welcome back. Good to see so many of you here still. Um, we've had some interesting talks. We're going to have more. When you talk about hydrogen, at some point you're going to talk about mobility. And when you're going to talk about mobility and hydrogen, at some point you're going to talk about refueling. And if you're talking about hydrogen refueling, at some point you're going to hear the word cascade. And today this mystery word is finally going to explain, uh, going to be explained to us. Uh, we're going to be talking about cascade systems in hydrogen refueling stations. On the stage from Eugen Zeitz, customer application engineer for hydrogen, please give a warm applause for Christoph Keller. Ease of mind in refueling. Isn't that the vision of all of us? Yes or yes? The answer is yes. We want to enable ease of mind in refueling. Much better refueling experience of a hydrogen powered vehicle compared to the fossil fuels or battery charging. Welcome, hello, and welcome to my presentation on optimizing cascade management in hydrogen refueling stations. My name is Christoph Keller. I'm a customer application engineer, hydrogen at sites in Switzerland. Back to my thesis, ease of mind in refueling. If you are honest to ourselves, H2 refueling is currently not at the same level as established fuels. It's far away from it. But why is that so? What are the current issues that plant engineers and end customer experience? This was the question we ask our customers. Here some answers we heard. Space and size. HRS are mostly founded nearly by densely populated areas where space is limited and land costs are high. Refueling often takes longer than estimate. Stations are often down or don't work properly. Cost end users time and getting on their nerves. So for operators, spare products. Costs are high and the supply can be unpredictable. On the technical side, much of the piping work is done with screwed connections, mostly cone and thread. The fewer the thread connections, which are the potential leakage points, the easier the life of the designer, the engineer, the end customers, the installer, and the system operator. So how can we address these issues? So let me introduce to you the latest add-on add to our high valve family, the high valve mosaic. What is the mosaic? The mosaic is a classical valve panel shrunk down to a minimum size, minimum possible size. Thanks to a smart design, it's fully modular, so each mosaic can also adapted to customer needs. So let me introduce you through it. 
the first thing you see here is the base plate in which all piping work is within the system boundary is united. The hydrogen is guided through the various holes. The solenoid valves are flanged with four screws and the normally closed solenoid valves as seen here is a pilot operated valve with integrated check valve. If we work, if we look at the flanged valves, they almost look like a mosaic piece. The solenoid valves shown here are placed above a count point where the hydrogen must be guided. If the high valve mosaic, the, the high valve of the mosaic uh, needs to be replaced, one of them, it took only five minutes. If someone is here and have experience with installations of uh, hydrogen valves, he knows what I talk about the time it needs to replace it. So it's really an amazing thing and it's it has a lot of potential. So here you see <coughs> here you see the principal scheme of our HRS. So you see where all the hydrogen is coming, either gases or liquid. Then the compressor brings the hydrogen up to pressure. You have the storage bank right over there, different levels, low, medium, and high. This is one part of the cascade management. In the yellow circle, the heart of, of its located product, we call it valve panel, and it controls all the hydrogen flow in the, in the, from the compressor up to the storage banks, from the storage banks through to the dispenser, either 350 bar and 700 bar. On the hot topic these days, high flow dispensing, where you have also trucks with 700 bar for especially long range distance. With the high valve mosaic, is higher mass flow, higher demand, and on the valve panel and storage banks, the whole refueling stations possible. So here, we, we go from the 3D model of the high valve mosaic, a step deeper in the system with the P&ID. So the red frame contains the module high valve mosaic. Then on the left side, you see the connection points to the storage banks. And on the bottom line, you see the inlet from the fresh hydrogen and the two outlet of the dispenser. Then the green and blue frame inside, there is the solenoid valve, normally closed, as well as also the check valve. 
the arrow shows you the, the flow direction of the hydrogen. So it's not pure theory because you have only see the 3D model. It's real. The product is real. We have a partner, first element, with their true zero hydrogen refueling stations all over California. They really took up a notch. So what we see here, it's the first of its kind valve panel, they call it. It is in with this high valve mosaic, they bring the cascade management to the next level. In this valve panel, I used 40 flanged high valves normally closed. With this high valve mosaic, you will have a very smart in installation for cascade management. What can you do with this amazing solution? All cone and thread connections are eliminated from the solenoid valve. There aren't any cone and thread connections inside the valve panel anymore. The piping work is tremendously reduced by using flanged high valves with integrated check valves. Aiming towards high uptime of hydrogen refueling station drives sides valve to constantly innovate future orientated high valve products. Next solutions are coming soon. Thank you for allowing me to present you how we seek to enable ease of mind in the refueling. I would be happy to receive further questions all week long at our booth D34. Thank you all, and I wish you a pleasure, Hannover Messe. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Warm applause, indeed. <laughs>